I'm Rusty Hayes. I'm the cut rodeo coach at Southern Arkansas University. I've been here since 2005. Uh, I'm originally kind of from Magnolia. My parents were from this area. I was on the SAU rodeo team uh, 81, 82, and 83. Uh, I always kind of had a history with it and the students who went here. When the opportunity came uh, back in 05, I joined the team. Back in 81, 82, some friends of mine and myself restarted, I guess. They are, there was a team here back earlier, but it, it kind of died out. Uh, from that point forward, 81, 82 time frame, uh, we've kept it going. Uh, a lot of students came through here. Uh, from that point, uh, the school stayed behind it, uh, as you can tell by our facilities. So it's, it's a good program here, uh, and we're awful proud of it. But the thing that's really kept it going, I think, uh, and made people want to invest in us was the quality of the students, the athletes that came through here that established our name as a rodeo team to be dealt with. You know, just a good, solid program, good kids. And I think that's why the community gets behind us. I'm McKenna Cottle. I'm 18 years old, and I'm on the SAU rodeo team, and I compete in the barrel racing and the goat tie. I'm Anna Dietrich. I'm from Greenville, Indiana, and I tie goats, run barrels, and rope caps. I'm Logan Graham, I'm from uh, Sims, Texas, I'm 20 and I rope in the team roping I'm rodeo for SAU. Team roping, you just, you just gotta ride your horse as a partner deal, it's uh, that's the only event in the rodeo that it's, you gotta rely on somebody else. Uh, I head and I got a healer, he's gotta catch the cow's feet, but I gotta do my job first and turn, at least turn the steer for him once you do it for so long, it's just like muscle memory, I mean, I could swing a rope before I could walk, so. I mean, I don't even think I was three years old the first time I sat on a horse. It's just something we've always done. I've always w wanted to do it. I always wanted to be a barrel racer. Goat tying kind of came later, but it's just, I grew up watching my cousins do it, and I wanted to do it too, and so I did. Uh, to be a part of this rodeo team is special to me because I've grown up in the rodeo in the background, and I've always wanted to be able to be able to pursue my education along with doing what I love and I feel like uh, we hold education to a high standard, so I at least get to have a really strong education along with being able to be a part of the rodeo team and succeed in that area as well. I'm a second generation. My dad, Jason Cottle, he was down here rodeoing and he qualified for the national finals three years. Um, I believe it's 89, 91, and 93. And my sister down, is down here too. She's, uh, this is her senior year and she's qualified for nationals every year so far. I mean, growing up going to public school, didn't go to football games, didn't play any other high school sport. I dedicated all of my time to my horses and working and practicing on me. I think rodeo is a little bit different than other sports too because we have an animal to take care of, so it makes it that much more time we have to spend at the barn. I mean, if your horse don't trust you, just like you trust in a, I mean, you get in a car, you trust that car to take you to point A to point B, that horse has got to trust you and you got to trust the horse, so it's kind of a big deal. He learns what your movements are and you learn his movements and you kind of, it's kind of like a reacting game. I mean, you got to react to the steer, but if you're in sync with your horse, everything's going to come together, and it's going to be really good. I mean, it happens fast. It was just kind of, you know, my dad was like, if you want to do it, you're going to work for it. No one else is going to hand it to you. So everything I did, I did it for myself and for my horses to keep them happy and healthy. And so you just got to give. I mean, if you want to be good and you want to make it in the sport, you got to give 110%. When a student shows up here to tour the school and they come by and they see uh, we probably got 40 acres of rodeo facilities tied up here. Uh, it's right here on Highway 82, front and center. Uh, it, it sells itself. It's impressive to see, and you walk in this building and the lights, and it, you can see yourself competing here. So it, that really helps. Yeah, I think that's uh, the driving force behind it uh, is the back to the quality, the people who gave enough to it who want to see it continue or it'll be here for their great kids or their grandkids. I've got kids who were here 15 years ago who now have kids uh, and they would like to see it, something like this still be here for them. Uh, it's just like your, your, your football programs or your baseball programs. You know, you want to walk around and say, I went to that, I was part of that and I'm proud of it and that's what we want here. 